Hi, I'm Sarah with Igniter Media, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through a cool feature on Photoshop called Smart Objects. Now, the cool thing about them is that it is essentially a Photoshop project within a Photoshop project. And what this allows you to do is have a image and then be able to edit it in your main project file without destroying the original image. So let me show you an example of how this works. So I went onto ignitermedia.com and downloaded the Pray For Our Country title graphic. The cool thing about this title graphic is that the smart object is the flag. So you're able to change the flag in this to be able to apply for whatever country you're praying for or state or situation. Um, now in most cases with Igniter it's going to be smart objects that you retitle the actual text, not necessarily an object. But let's show you an example of this. So we'll go into our file and look at the flag layer. So let's double click on this smart object. So it opens up and you see that it's actually a American flag, looks very standard, clean, which is completely different and reflected from the title graphic. So now I'm gonna change this out with the Texas flag. So we'll throw that in there, scale it up to fit, and then enter the changes, X out of here and click save. And now all of a sudden, it's a graphic for Texas. So we'll have to change the text and let's change it to pray for our state. And now we have a graphic specifically for Texas and it fits exactly what we needed. So that's one of the cool features of smart objects. Another powerful feature of smart objects is vector objects. So you can use Illustrator vectors in your Photoshop and be able to edit it in your Photoshop file as a rasterized object without actually rasterizing it. It's still editable on the Illustrator side and it maintains all the quality that you want out of your illustrations. In a graphic where you're wanting to use multiple instances of the same smart object, all you have to do is duplicate that layer and only have to edit one of the layers and it'll affect all of them. Now, if you're needing to edit them separately, you'll have to use new smart object via copy. We'd love to hear how you use smart objects in the comments below, and make sure to check out all of our content at ignitermedia.com by clicking over here, and subscribe to our YouTube channel clicking here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. And subscribe by clicking here. Thanks for watching. <laughs>